Hi guys, getting ready to do a collective reading. Let's see what is showing up at this time. Okay. Someone may be ending a job or quitting a job or they're just not gonna work on anything, work on something anymore. It looks like someone could be watching and hoping that this is true. It's like someone's watching and waiting. It could be a water sign. They're spying. They're definitely spying and they're wondering about something. That maybe they're wondering if they should communicate. It's like they're waiting for just the right time to reach out. Might be a Scorpio. They could have also quit a job. Could be someone could have left. Okay. Let's see what is going on? Thinking about the past. I'm going to be thinking about the past. I really feel like there may be someone that you used to work with or a job that you used to be at or school. There could be someone who's been thinking about you a lot. Okay. They want to offer love. Could be a fire sign or this could be how they view you. Or you could be a fire sign here. So they have a, an offer. Look at the page of swords is still under there. So this person has been spying on you a lot lately. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so we do have a matching pair here. So they've been in no communication for a while now, waiting for the right time to talk to you, waiting for the right time to reach out. What is this hermit energy? Two of swords and the nine of cups. So think they think this is going to be a wish fulfillment. So it's interesting is that this whole row is like about a relationship, a commitment, love, long something long term. Let me see who this is. Let me go with this deck. Could be a friend, a coworker, or an acquaintance. Someone who is admiring you. There also might be a family or past connection for some of you. Obviously, there's a past connection for everyone, but maybe something to do with family instead. This is a soulmate. They're not giving us any signs. It could be a Capricorn. It's a masculine energy. and Or it could be a Scorpio. That's at a distance. Okay. We do have Libra under the deck. Okay. So it's going to be different for everyone, right? I can't like say it's going to be one sign for every specific person. For some of you, this may be a Scorpio who's at a distance. We do have the death card here, but for others of you, maybe it's a Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> what is this person's next action? What is this person's next action? Okay, so they're going to come together with you. They either want to work things out, work together. This is also my card of going out, going on a date, going out to lunch. So they're going to ask you out. Something that's even my going shopping card. That probably isn't relevant, but it could be something like that. It's always like they're looking, maybe going to a museum or looking at art on the wall or someone is helping them. Okay, how are you going to feel about this person? Like the Empress. Wow. So under the deck, I'm noticing the five of coins. So you could be coming out of the cold with this person. If you have been feeling that way, this person may be very um, attentive to you. They could be, be very loving. They're going to make you feel really good. So where do you see this headed, Spirit? Where do you see this headed? Nine of coins. Okay. Wow. So what else is going to happen in the future for those... King of Swords is sad. Okay. That's some sort of offer because they feel out in the cold now, trying to make a new decision, but they don't know what to do or say. Okay. So there may be another person involved, possibly an air sign who's sad. But again, whether this is a man or a woman, whoever this sign is, I feel like this person hid behind um, like this tough exterior. They never shared their feelings, never really showed any interest. And now they may either see you with this offer and they feel left out in the cold, or they have this offer for you, but you may not want it now. So you have one person who's very attentive, who's very loving, who, you know, spends time with you, dotes on you, does nice things for you. And then you have someone else who may be very moody. They might be a Pisces because of the moon here, but somebody who I feel like they're feeling sorry for themselves, but I feel like it's kind of their fault because they didn't take any action towards you. They didn't really do anything. So now they're kind of like they don't know really what to do. There's also maybe someone... Let me do the moon really quick here. Do you know what this person? Do you know what this king of swords? 
six of coins, six of wands. Oh, queen of swords. Yeah, you do. I think you do know this person. You may not know this person feels this emotional about the situation and losing you, but they, I feel like there was something here about, not, they're not very attentive. They're not very giving. You felt always like it was maybe one-sided. They, because the six of coin can be a breadcrumbing card. And it's like they thought they could get away with giving you very little. This is polar opposites. That's the crazy thing. This is like one person who is very giving and generous and fun and, and wants to take you to the places you want to go and, and, you know, just have a good time, spend money. The other person, again, they may be always feeling moody and down and um, they may give you very little and show you very little interest in, you know, not text you back for several days or call you back for several days or you know something like that is what i'm getting so i could see why you would choose this one person over the other go back here up here to the eight of coins and the death card you kind of can't see it but i'm kind of curious why this came out but this was at one of your old jobs that you quit or something what is this eight of coins death energy the lovers this is Gemini. This might be a Gemini. That might be where the tie is. But otherwise, no, this is somewhere you were going where one of you, you just don't go there anymore. So it doesn't have to be your job. It could have been their job. But, you know, school, work, the gym, a specific shop. If this just came up, I believe this was an Aries. Aries had an ex a secret crush and extended. I think, yeah, I think that's where this came up as well with similar energy. And we do have, you know, fire signs showing up here. But... You know what I feel like this person here brings out the best in you like they make you a better person or there's something about you know that energy where you can be yourself but you also like who you are with this person here this this is a very cold connection there's not much love here there's not much um, affection maybe you guys are also angry when you were together but this connection you guys there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fun there's um Look, you can just, you know, you're happier. Uh, you could get pregnant possibly also, so FYI. But what is this person like about you? What is this person with this King of Wands energy? What do they like about you? This keeps coming up, and this has never come out until like today. So there's something about music. So I don't know if you guys have similar taste in music. There's songs that are coming on the radio. You guys play an instrument in the band, go to concerts in the music industry. So that's just somebody specific. That is a specific message for you. Okay, what do they like about you? That you have an adventurous spirit. They feel like you're very loyal. They're trustworthy. You're fun. One more, please. Possibly you're an awesome cook. If you're not, maybe it's describing them as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So also getting liking to eat, go out, um, you may take a cooking class together. You know, I feel like with this person, I've had cooking and music and wine and um, enjoying time together. It's just easy. It works. It's fun. You can go out. You can stay in. You have, because looking at this, a lot of times a page of coin to me is like a longing card. I know it's not really, it's an offer, but with this particular image, it's like he's looking at a text. He's looking at a picture of you or she. They're um, remembering something about you. And then with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups is past life soulmate. It's a sweet energy. It's, you know, when you are comfortable with someone, you know them well enough to kind of just be yourself and open up and be vulnerable. This person, you know, the, he's he's giving her flowers or she's giving him flowers. And it's just a sweetness, it's just a real sweetness. And I just like this energy. It's like now that someone is done with something, maybe someone's done with school. Maybe, maybe someone's graduated and they're just done or they're done with something is done here. It's over. And I was like, now you guys can be together. Maybe someone quit a job. Is someone quitting a job so the two of you can be together? Or is someone getting fired? Or, you know, so maybe there's a blessing if someone does end up losing a job coming up here. Usually it's the tower, but death is more like quitting. Firing is more like the tower, but it could, could, could go anyway, but something is ending there. Or is it Scorpio at your job? And now the two of you are coming together. Spirit is bringing the two of you together. Some sort of tie possibly from your past though as well. That did come up, right? So I guess that's obvious because it came up that way. But I'm thinking maybe even further back, maybe something else. 
for depending on your age, how far back it goes. Maybe it's maybe when your children. Now you've all you've grown up and you're being brought back together after all this time. So you could be receiving a message. They could be an earth sign and you could be receiving a message from this person. I get it's going to be very like you're going to see it and be very happy. It could be surprising, but it's a very pleasant surprise. And this person here, I just kind of get like this is just this is not meant to be. It was just kind of a dark time. It gave you a lot of things to learn. This was probably a karmic soulmate. Let me see what some of the uh, oracles are saying. Universe, what are the messages for this connection? There is a new beginning here. Okay. It says trust it. Just trust. Wow. Okay. What would this new person want to say to you? What would this new person? You speak to me through music just fell out in my lap. So is that what they're trying to tell me? Someone is trying to reach out to you through songs or spirits trying to put, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, because I got something else here too. Spirit, universe, guy, whatever you want to call it, synchronicity is trying to bring you together with this person. Listen to the songs on the radio. When you get in your car or wherever, before you turn the radio on, tell the guides you want information or you want, you know, you want the message before you turn it on. Tell them to... Sometimes I get pushed to like go do something, leave and go. And that's usually the only time I actually listen to music is in my car. And I'll know exactly what's going on by the different songs on the radio. And then there's a couple stores I go into and I also will know exactly what's going on. There's messages in the music. That's what's going on here. Someone is trying to reach you or spirit is trying to reach you through the music to let you know somebody is looking for you. Somebody wants to reach out and talk to you. They're bringing you two together. So that is what the music card is all about. Also, for a few of you, there may be a tie-in with your mother, a mother figure, an aunt, somebody like that. They may also know some information about this person. When I was shuffling, I got that message, but I was going to put it on hold. But then, no, there's, there is, I've already clarified the death card. I don't know how far back this goes, but there is someone who is looking for you, that spirit's trying to bring the two of you back together and it's just it's gonna be like a blessing it's gonna be fun it's you're gonna have a good time you probably had a good time with them before you're gonna have fun this time around as well anything else we need to know about the past death card the eight of coins or maybe that was school look at tower came out okay you may have your guys doing some tricks around you right now and you may be kind of like what the hell is going on things are falling apart i don't need this right now this tells me that no, you're being brought together. This is like one of those things where you're being kind of pushed forward so you can be with this person. And then, and you already saw it. You're gonna have the nine of coins energy, the 10 of coins energy. You're gonna be well taken care of. You're gonna be very happy. So worried about deception and the tower. So some of you may be worried that, yeah, something is ending or you have to move or you were just fired or your company's closing down. It could be because the universe is working on your behalf and you don't see these things. So you could be worried about actual deception that has caused a tower. But again, it's it's all it's all working in a specific way. It's supposed to be this way. All right, so we only did one card. You speak to me through music. I don't know if this person's saying that to you or that's just our message from the universe why that music card keeps coming out. What else would this person want to say to you? What else would this person want to say to you if they could? Okay, I remember every detail of that day. So it could also be a weekend, a week, a month, a year. So, but there was something very specific they remember. They remember, I'm getting outdoors and I gotta be smiling, but there's probably too many details. So it'd be different for everyone is what I'm trying to say. So there's something this person reminisces about, thinks about a conversation, something you guys did together. Um, I love you. Wow. I wish we could go back. So that's under the deck. But I don't think you're going to have to go back because I think this person is coming towards you. But maybe it's kind of like, you know, maybe for like years or, or month. Again, it may have not been that long ago. For some reason, I'm picking up on someone that this was maybe 20 years ago. Or, but not all of it. What does spirit want you to know at this time? Seahorse, be confident and assertive, the divine masculine.
and life buoy. Don't give up. Help is on the way. Oh my gosh. Treasure chest. Look at success. Reaping the rewards. That's like the ten of coins. So again, somebody viewing here, you are just feeling weighed down by circumstances. Maybe you lost your job. Things are not working out. Help is on the way. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Um, money's coming to you. There's a relationship here coming to you. Did we do this deck? What else are the, what are the messages around this reading, this connection? Someone needs to talk to you. It says they're inspired by you. Let's be honest. So someone wants to be honest and open. And right now there is some holding back, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that because I can see this is happening. Let's do a timing card as well. I have to tell you though, there may be someone, like I, like I got maybe for some of you, a mother mother figure and sister, someone who's, who's definitely a feminine energy, might know about this person already or might have some information for you. So if you feel like there's someone you've been, if you have been feeling like you need to text someone, you've been putting it off, you don't really want to, um, go ahead and text because maybe they've forgotten to tell you as well. Like maybe they got a message, someone's looking for you or something like that, or they saw so-and-so. So that's also your intuition, your higher self pushing you to do things. All right, what what is the timing of this person reaching out or are you guys coming together? Okay, if you have been wondering about this daily, you are in, the, you are in its vibration. Time frame is within a few weeks. Well, I feel like this reading will trigger that. So I don't know if you, you probably have been wondering about this far as I know, but you are in the vibration right now if you're thinking about this. So it should be very soon. It should be in a few weeks. And that's the same timeline. It was a different car, but the same timeline, I believe for Aries and extended was within like the month of March. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.